Hey everyone, Brian Hoops from Midwest Market Solutions and our market news segment. It's Monday, it's February the 10th. Thanks for joining us. Hope you're having a great trading day. We're seeing a little bounce here in soybean meal as the commitment to traders report is bullish for that uh, commodity and it's spilling over into soybeans and giving us a bounce. Now tomorrow, the key supply and demand report for the month of February is going to be out at 11 o'clock central time. I'll be on RFD TV talking uh, about the report prior to its release at 10.15 Central Time, and then after it's uh, out, I'll be back on here uh, with some commentary about what the report says. Now, we expect to see uh, exports improved for corn enough to lower any stocks down slightly, anywhere from 10 to 25 million bushels. Anything more than that, I think I would be very surprised. Exports, I don't think, will be changed. I think if, if there's a change, it's going to come in uh, feed demand. That's been the catalyst here for uh, slightly narrowing ending stocks, but it's not going to be enough to really give us any type of a bull market here in corn, unfortunately. Soybeans, we've seen a little better crush. We've seen a little better uh, export. So I could see USDA lowering ending stocks in the soybean market tomorrow and in wheat there's not much going on. I think our exports are right in line with where they need to be. I don't see the USDA making any changes tomorrow, although they may uh, end up doing that. Uh, I, I just don't think it's going to make much of a difference for, for wheat. But going forward here into the future, we got to look at what's some opportunities for marketing. I think there's opportunities right now for the wheat market if you're uh, holding old crop inventory to go ahead and start merchandising some of that. I don't think there's a big sell-off coming in the wheat until we get into uh, breaking dormancy. We want to make sure that crop looks good. There's a little bit more wheat planted in some areas. Um, clients in Texas tell me there's been a little bit more wheat this year than what they had last year. Uh, that's certainly the case in soft red wheat area as well. Now, if you look at the soybean market and the corn market, we could see a substantial increase in corn ending stocks. We plant a lot more acres for corn. Everybody wants to point to the Chinese trade agreement and how this is going to be bullish, and it's certainly going to help things out. But consider this. The record export year for corn, or for soybeans, excuse me, was 2016 and 17. Exports were about 2.166 billion bushels that year. Right now, they're at 1.775. So even if the USDA increases exports to that record amount uh, in for the new crop marking year, our ending stocks are only going to be about 400 million bushels, still one of the largest in history. So we, we've got to have this trade agreement just to give us opportunities to market at higher prices. So don't forget about marketing uh, going forward here. If you have questions, reach out to any of our offices. I know they'd be glad to talk with you. Have a good day.